Hi, it's Teresa. If you have been dealing with mysterious symptoms and you haven't really been able to get any answers from your doctors and you suspect it could be mold illness, I wrote a blog on this recently if you happen to read my blog, there is some good testing that you can do to try to validate that. Um, I do a scan in my office that is considered accurate by the FDA, but non-diagnostic. So I can't diagnose anything with it. However, it is very accurate and it can help people to really tease out in their mind if they feel like that's something they're dealing with. Um, then what someone can do, which I chose to do, is to go on and get true diagnostic testing done. And I wanted to show you here today one of my favorite tests. This is the Great Plains Labs Mycotoxin Panel. So mycotoxins are the waste product of mold. They are the tiny, tiny little toxins that make us sick, that create the brain fog and the insomnia and the horrible fatigue and the joint pain and um, many, many different symptoms. And so, the molds themselves are listed on this test. Like you'll see aspergillus here or penicillium there. Um, and then there's more uh, back here, stachybotrys, uh, fusarium, uh, and, and more. This is my test, by the way. Um, they will create tiny little toxins that mold filters themselves will not get because a mold filter will filter 0.3 microns, most of them. But you have to get a mycotoxin filter if you want to get the actual toxins that make you sick. So be careful with that, with some of the mold uh, filtration devices that are being sold right now. But anyway, you can... Um, Order this urine test yourself, and or you can go to your functional doctor. Um, most mainstream doctors don't don't order these types of tests. It's not anything that they look for, um, but many functional doctors will, and um, or there are times you can order it yourself online. And what you will do is you will produce a urine sample. So um, <clears throat> you don't want to just pee in the cup and send it back because uh, the mycotoxins will not usually just free float in the urine. They are stored by your body in the body tissues that are suffering, your liver, your kidneys, your brain. And so in order to pull them out of hiding, you need to do something to uh, provoke the test. And one of my favorite things to do is, uh, I have a steam sauna behind these doors here. Um, and I also have an Ion Cleanse Detox Foot Bath that has been validated by uh, independent studies to uh, remove mycotoxins. And so I will have people do a sauna and a foot bath to help mobilize those toxins, push them through the kidneys into your urine so that you can see them at all. Then collect the specimen and then send it back in. I have had people who have not done that, who have just ordered the kit, peed in the cup, sent it back. Because, you know, that's what you and I have done our whole lives. We don't, you know, have to try to bring anything out of hiding. Uh, but in this case, you do. And um, when it comes back, uh, I have found this test to be quite shocking. This is my own test. And so Stachybotry, or um, Aspergillus mold creates ochre toxin A. Look how high I was for ochre toxin A. The reason I did that test was because I developed a brand new symptom called tinnitus, which is very, very bad ringing in your ears. Um, and it was getting worse, worse, worse every month. And it was causing me to have panic attacks. And once I realized by doing this test that my body had ochre toxin A, I started taking some really good high quality um, mycotoxin binders, which are uh, capsules or powders that you can take and um, started getting symptom relief pretty quickly. 
So um, many people are using these mycotoxin binders and getting um, sometimes quick, sometimes very gradual relief of their symptoms. So anyway, if you had any questions about the testing, there's definitely more tests than this one. This one just happens to be one of my favorites. Um, some other toxins that people will tend to test positive for is the gliotoxin. And when people test positive for this one, um, I didn't, but they will oftentimes have very bad depression and anxiety and just brain issues overall. Uh, I've even seen people with MS with gliotoxin. Um, the mycophenolic acid is a toxin that the pharmaceutical industry realized suppressed the immune system so much that they turned it into a drug to help prevent the rejection of transplant organs. So that one is a really nasty one. Um, and then, you know, any number of these mycotoxins for Stachybotrys or Fusarium can create immune, immune system suppression. And um, these citrinins I see a lot. Um, people bring me these tests and, and, and that one's high pretty often. And what these tests can tell you is, uh, is it more than likely coming from a, a water damaged building? And if that's the case, then you can address that too. So I hope this was helpful. Um, call our office if you have any questions.